welcome to my very first YouTube video. I hope you enjoy. To prep the face, I'm taking the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Going in with the Tatcha Water Cream as my moisturizer. Taking the Pure Hydrogel Lift for that under eye primer. Using the Farsali Drops to moisturize the lips. So now I'm just brushing through my brows, getting them ready to fill in. I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ebony and just outlining the bottom and the top of my brow. I really enjoy the brow wiz. I feel with the smaller tip gives me a lot more control. Now with small strokes, I'm going ahead and filling in the outer portion using a heavier hand and going lighter as they come towards the front of the brow, avoiding the very front so we don't get those boxy brows. Coming through the brows now will give you that nice blend from what you left blank to where you started to fill in. Using the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer in the color Light and a Morphe M432 Flat Definer Brush, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the brows. Taking the ABH Brow Palette, I'm going in with the Duo Powders in the same color as the Definer Ebony, and I'm just going over everything we already did. Kind of just seals the deal here. I like to do everything in pairs, as you'll see later in the video too. I'll start with creams and end with powders. So it just kind of locks in your makeup. Make sure it lasts all day. same concealer for my eyeshadow base so here I'm just blending it all over the lid until it's nice and smooth Here I'm just kind of blending 
blending the front part of my brow, which gives it a more gradient, natural look, so it's not so heavy and boxed out in the front. I'm also going in with the RCMA powder to just go ahead and set that concealer. For today's look, I'm using the Subculture palette. I know there's a lot of controversy in regards to this palette, but I personally don't have a problem with it. The colors seem to blend very nicely for me, and I don't have a lot of fallout. So here I'm going in with the Sigma E40 blending brush and the color New Wave, just as a transition color using windshield wiper motions. Using that same Sigma brush and the same technique, I'm going to go ahead and use the color Edge just to go over that New Wave, blending out any harsh lines. Now with the MAC 217, taking the color Roxy all over the crease, windshield wiper motions. Deep in the crease, I'm going to go ahead in with the color All Star, still using that MAC 217 to my desired color. Using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light and a Wet n Wild Flat Concealer Brush, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. Cut. I'm taking a Sigma E36 in that color All Star just to go ahead and define that color once again. I decided to go for a halo eye today so I'm taking the brush that comes in the Anastasia palettes and starting off with the color Untamed and just going on and placing that color in the inner and outer corners of the lid. Taking the color Access and just patting that all over the lid. And it looks like I was filling myself there for a minute. Just continuing to blend to avoid any harsh lines. I go back in with the E36 in the color All Star just to make sure it doesn't get lost in transition. Blend till your arm falls off, girl. I'm going to go in one more time with that Tarte Shape Tape just so we can go ahead and create that halo eye. Go 
going over that concealer with the MAC 242 brush and the color Electric. Now this color at first did give me kind of a hard time. I didn't see it showing up, but then after I kind of layered it, it started to pop. I didn't want there to be a harsh line between the electric and the turquoise colors, so I went ahead and went in with a small eye detail brush from Luxie, the 141, and I'm just blending in those colors. And back in with the 242, just patting around so the colors blend nicely. For falsies today, I'm going to be using the New Boundsum Bella Base. Going in and prepping the lashes first and then popping these bad boys on. start the face, I'm going in with the Farsali Unicorn Drops, just placing a few drops and rubbing that into the skin. Then for primer, I'm going to go ahead and take the Hourglass Mineral Primer and do the same technique. the Benefit Poor Professional in Pearl. I'm going to go ahead and rub that with my fingers to heat it up and dab it in the skin. I'm also going to take this pure lip balm that I got in my BoxyCharm. For foundation today, I'm using the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick and the Color Warm Beige. Just placing that on and going in with a Morphe M439 to buff it out. For concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium, placing it under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, the chin, and my forehead. Just blending that all out and then like I mentioned earlier in the video I'm gonna go ahead and go in with all my creams first and then set them with powder to cream contour I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Smashbox contour stick blend out very easy but I'm going in with a beauty blender and blending out all those lines. Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Moonlight. I'm going to go ahead and use this as my 
cream highlighter now this a little goes a long way so just place a few drops on my hands and then rub it out on my cheeks under eye to ensure that there's no creasing throughout the day I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star setting powder and just place that in all the places where I put concealer so under the eye down the bridge of the nose um, my chin and my forehead I don't go in too heavy but just enough so that it'll lock it in the clip unfortunately didn't make it in the video but I do set my entire face with the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the color 2 and a Morphe E1 brush To bring back some color to the face, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the color Bronze and a Benefit Bronzer Brush. using a MAC 160 brush and the Kat Von D shade and light palette using the color shadow play RCMA no color powder and a damp beauty blender I'm gonna go ahead and carve out the cheekbones now this powder I will let sit for a while for blush I'm using a MAC 116 brush and the colors peaches and spring sheen mixing those together placing them on the apples of the cheeks pushing it backwards towards the temples for highlight, I'm using the new Amrezy highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Morphe M510 with some Fix Plus and go ham with this baby. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a Morphe M506 taking the colors Roxy new wave and edge first and placing those underneath going back and forth then with a Morphe M36 I'm gonna go ahead and take untamed and access just layer that over I'm also gonna go in with a Morphe E43 I'm gonna go ahead and spray that with some fix plus and then take that color electric again and just stamp it in really close underneath the lower lash line gel liner and a black cold pen. I'm just going to go ahead and align my lower lash line and tight line. Finishing off the lower lashes with Benefit Roller Lash. Now I'm removing that pure lip exfoliator and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with MAC lip liner and strip down. I'm also going to go over top of that with the Poise Liquid Matte in the color Bliss. Finishing off the brows by setting them with the Anastasia Clear Blow Gel. Last but certainly not least, we're going in with the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray to seal the deal so my makeup can last all day. And here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me for my first YouTube video. Please like and subscribe to follow me on my journey as I continue to learn and grow.